Welcome back to Football 101. We just discussed Saturday's league games in the English Premier League. We're going to also discuss Manchester United and Chelsea taking on Portsmouth. Where do you see that going? Yes, um, again, another fascinating story on unfolding at Chelsea. Um, of course, the new manager syndrome. Yes, well, the, lo the loss of uh, Mourinho at the beginning of last season was obviously a, a big shock to all the Chelsea fans and to the squad. Mm. Grant did well to hold things together to, towards the end of the season. I always thought he was playing with Mourinho's team, though, and, and, and I'm, I'm glad from, uh, for, for Chelsea's uh, uh, point of view that uh, they've got a fresh start and they brought in a top, top coach. A lot of the players have said they're looking forward to working with him. Mm -hmm. Players, I think, have come to the club because they want to work with Scolari. He's promised a, a, an exciting brand of football. So, again, it's another fascinating story unfolding, and I think Chelsea will do very well this season. Was Manchester United Newcastle? Yeah, um, that should be a very interesting game. Kevin Keegan's made some signings. He's yeah. a great manager, and I yeah. think for for me that's a pick of the weekend's games. Yeah, but I, I think it's such an enormous task at Newcastle because the expectation levels at Newcastle are just so high. Um, you know, their fans want success. They've been starved of success, uh, and I just see that they're going to have another struggle in the middle of the table again. Yeah. And and in addition to that, they've got this constant saga with Joey Barton um, you know there's a problem in the squad there yeah. with him mm. and you know I just think it's just too big a job um, you know I, I think he's, he's you know on a hiding to nothing I really do yeah I, I agree I think uh, I think Keegan's walking on eggshells I think he, he he turned the team around to a certain degree he saved them from relegation they were on a downward uh, spiral he pulled them up but I think he's got a big job to, to take yeah. them further than mid-table okay, this well, season. And he relied heavily on Michael Owen last season, whose injury record isn't yes. great. Mm. I mean, when he came back, they picked up. So if he gets injured again, I'm afraid mm. I can't see where the goals are going to come no. from for Newcastle. What do you think Alex Ferguson will tell his players before they walk out of the tunnel? First game, you're champions, European champions, not many signings, if any signings. Mm -hmm. He's, I think he'll say, we've done it once, we can do it again. Go out and win the championship for me. Paul? Yeah, I think more of the same. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I mean, I, I'm concerned that they haven't brought anybody in new this season, a fresh face to, to liven things up. Mm. So that's my big concern for Manchester United uh, next season. Yeah, I, st I still yeah. think they need, sorry to Paul, I still mm. think they need one more striker. Yeah, yeah. I absolutely. think they need one person. If you've got an injury, say, to Rooney or Ronaldo, mm -hmm. I think there is still a little, it's a little bit thin up front just for that. They need an Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. Yeah. They need that super yes. sub, that quality player mm -hmm. who's, who's willing to sit on the bench and step mm -hmm. in, obviously play games when, when other strikers get tired or injured. And I just think they're just that one player. Should I stay or should I go now? Should I stay or should I go now? break we are going to discuss the Brunei Super Cup the final on the 22nd of August.